Hi everyone. I'm Sandy, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Canada. And I'm so glad you've joined me today. We've got some, we have something fun happening. I just want to go over a couple things first. Um, our DSP sale. So there's 15 different packages of DSP that DSP that are on sale, but only until uh, the 31st. So if you like those DSP, you want to get them while they're on sale, of course. Let me adjust this a little bit. There we go. And um, yeah, you don't want to miss out. And I have an order going in. Well, this is a second reminder. I have an order going in on the 30th. So you can be a part of that order, hopefully. Um, my class for Mary Moose um, and the registration ends on the 30th so if you want to get into that class you have to live in Canada number one um, you need to let me know by the 30th because I have to place that order so the goodies come in in time hello hello um I think that was everything okay so we'll get to the card so I decided I would use sentiments from Mary Moose which happens to be the class that I'm doing uh, we're going to use DSP that is on sale and what else oh well we're gonna use a whole bunch of these dies so this is the Mary Moose and I think you'll love it because it's floral polymer you can see through it so you can see where you're stamping which is awesome um, I believe we're using hmm this one yeah I believe it's this one for this particular card and I will show you the original as well now these are the um, oh, good, 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 good. forever flourishing. I got it. Forever, forever flourishing dies. And when you look at this in the catalog, the, the annual catalog, you might be saying to yourself, well, these are like for summer, like all the greenery in that. Oh, no, you can use them for Christmas cards, too. You can use them for fall and spring. This is year round. And that's what I find good bang for your buck, so to speak because you get all these dies. Now I used a whole bunch of them. These, this, this, these, this, this for the card. Now I, I probably die cut more than we're gonna use, but I like to have them handy. Hello ladies, I can see Julie and Terry and Kathy Jean. Welcome, welcome. I'm just checking and we are centered, which is awesome. <laughs> Yay, awesome. So I did say, in my teaser that we were doing a different um, style of card and I I think I've only done this once so this is a slimline card um, I'm using whisper white thick and there's a whole bunch of different I could try this light too oh look I've got another light oh more light um, there's a bunch of different sizes but as long as it fits into I call them business size envelopes you know the things we get our bills in <laughs> But as long as it fits in there, you're good. So you could even go to nine and a quarter. So this is nine inches by eight inches wide. And I scored on the eight inch. So this is four inches on both sides. And then of course, do I have it? Yes, I do. And because it's whisper white thick, I always find it takes a little bit more to get it to lay flat, as flat as we can. Oh, got some glue on it. We'll get rid of that, go away. And hello, Grace. And I saw somebody else. Let's see if I can find. And Valerie. Do, do, do. Here we go. All right. Now I know my camera's kind of, it seems like it's kind of low, and I hope it's not too low. This is the same as it was last week, by the way. All right. So this is the card front. And then here's the pieces. This is for some die cutting or some punching. So this is one of the um, papers that is on sale. This is the plaid tidings. Here's the other side and the sample card that I'll show you it also uses um, paper but not this paper because I thought let's make a different card um, if you notice which I'm sure you have that this has quite the curve in it as does this piece this is just regular whisper white that's embossed with um, one of the two because you get two with this set uh, wrapped in texture um, embossing folders I just thought it kind of looked like snow and not that I want any, <laughs> but you know. So I'm gonna show you how I cut that. Now I wasn't concerned about the size of this piece of paper. And I'll tell you why. 
So when I ran it through my stamp and cut and emboss machine, I remember when I first showed you these, these don't become available till November 3rd. Um, and then you can get the, the whole um, quite, this is a mouthful, quite curvy variety bundle, huh, which is uh, two stamp sets, the dies, and the paper, which is on a card we did the other week. Anyway, so you notice here on this die, this edge here, this cuts already. So when I placed it down, I had the non-cut side along the paper, and then I just ran it through. Now for this one, I put this piece of paper back in and just lined it up so I would know where the curve was and ran it through the machine. So they actually both went through together. This one didn't need to get cut a second time, obviously. Now you will notice that, and I'm being a really good girl putting my dies back only because I found one in a card which I wasn't expecting. All right, so you'll notice that this piece is a little bit longer and I knew that. My goal was to make sure that it fit from here to here. So if I have to cut anything off the back, it's just a tiny little cut right here, which I'm gonna do, might as well just do it right now, right? All righty, so it looks like about, I don't know, an eighth of an inch. This is the mini trimmer, it's not available. Sorry about that but I'm gonna use it. I'm just gonna take a little bit off and if I need more, I'll take a little more. You know that old measure twice, cut once. Okay, we can take a little bit more. So, do it again. Any kind of cute little guillotine like this is so perfect. Oh, that is pretty darn close. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Alrighty, okay. I will glue these down right away because that will help hold the card down. And, oh, oop, oop, oop. Oh, and hello, Lisa and Tracy. There. My screen is big so I can read the print, but then I miss messages that are... So if I happen to miss your comment, don't worry. I will, I will um, if you have a question or anything, I will respond. And after the video is done, I will um, put the link for shopping and other important links I will put up on in the description there we go i'm pretty sure i didn't have to cut this at the bottom well it's pretty close but now i've glued it so it's what it is there i love this plaid i don't know about you but this is this is one of my favorite plaids i don't think it's the macintosh plaid i don't know i actually don't know the names okay so there's that a little stamping actually let me show you this is what i cut out ready okay don't don't think i'm weird because, well, I, I cut two of these just in case. So let's line them up. This piece is from Tasteful Labels, and I'll show you this one. I chose this because I love this little bit around here, that it makes this really cool pattern. I think that's really nice. I could have used um, one of the scalloped edges off of the layering circles dies, but I chose not to. So, I was just reminding myself, is this the right thing? Yes, it is. Okay, so we will stamp that. And then, remember I said that uh, from the um, Forever Flourishing? Well, here we go. I couldn't decide on the colors. And because I had two cards, I cut a bunch. So we've got the same leaf in three colors. And even if I don't use the whole leaf, like of these, let's say I use the green, which I probably probably will. Um, on the other ones, I can still like chop off this little bit and use that. So nothing goes to waste. This is also from that same set. And I noticed that there's a piece that didn't come out. So take your pick tool is wonderful for this and for getting these little dots out of your die if they get stuck. All right. So we also have that in white. We have it in green. We have it in vellum. And then these cute little guys, which I love because they're nice little fillers. We have those in white. Now these guys, I'll show you how I got those. And then this is one of, in this package, you get the red and green foil sheets. So I decided on the red. I didn't, I thought I had enough green going. These I punched. So this is the sprig punch. And what I thought was kind of cool 
is I don't know what I'm going, going to use. Actually, I'll go to the raw edge because I'm more likely to keep this. Let's go to the raw edge. And what I thought I could do with this is if I needed to, I could just take them apart and then I have two sprigs. And then I had to do this one in silver. Nope, champagne foil. All right. So then we, well, let's do the sentiment. I did say we were going to do that. Okay, there, and I believe, I know the card is red and green. I'm using early espresso. And it's an older pad. Now again, you can see through this, which is nice. Now I should have something under this, so hopefully it works. When you're using the clear for a polymer, you should have some kind of cushion underneath because it's not like the red rubber where it's squishy. But I think I'll be okay because it's a small stamp. Perfect. I love that. Have a cozy Christmas. Love it. All right, so put that away. So that was early espresso. We're building. We're building, building, building. There it is. And because this is my, this is where all of the greenery will come out of. Now, the champagne foil or any of the foil is a little bit slippery. So for that, you want to just let it sit for a couple seconds. Okay, now my video, my hands aren't moving. I assume it's working. <laughs> I assume, it's, it might be a big assumption. So I kind of had in mind, I'm gonna, going to keep it mostly like the original, but different colors, different DSP. And for some reason, I like, to, I like to just pull that off because it doesn't need to be in there with the layers. So I was thinking this. So let me just think. Yeah, those I would lay down and the other ones I'll build. So for this, you want to get your, you want to get your Tombow going. I can't really, this or the um, fine tip glue pen but just a little bit. You don't want it squishing out. Make shiny spots on your card and I don't think you'll like that too much. All right, that should do it because it's also going to be held down by the sentiment. Now, given the size of this card, I felt that the greenery could be a little bit larger. Um, I just thought it would, it, uh, this kind of card can handle Quite a bit. Now, has anyone else made slimline cards? So I know you can do them as like a fancy fold in all different kinds. If you look on YouTube, there's like a ton of things you can do. But have you made slimline cards and how did how did it go? Because there's a lot of real estate to cover. So I am curious to see how that went. All right, so let's hold that down. Let's hold that down. Okay, so that decision's made. And I will keep referencing this as I go to see how I like it. Now, I may, as mentioned, just use the top of this one, or one of them. So these are still good. I can still pull that apart, use little bits. But I think I'm going to go with this. Where is it going to go? That I don't know yet. Now on the original, and I, oh no, I got rid of the piece. I was going to say, I didn't, I, I thought this was like too much and this is too obvious. So I did the same thing and just pulled off pieces that I wanted to use. I think I'll go with this one. Will I use them? I don't know. Um, do we have envelopes for these? Um, we do not. However, um, you can you can buy it at, at um, like Staples, let's say, envelopes this size. Probably elsewhere, but Staples came to mind. Um, and Tracy says, I haven't, you haven't yet, but I've seen many creative ideas. Oh yeah, you definitely, it's worth a try. You know, it's fun to see like, what can I do with all this? All right, so I'm going to, and I usually do this, and I know I did this in my last class, is I pull this apart because that way I have, I don't have to cut two of them and I'll just kind of go here and here. So at this point, still building, still building. Unlikely I'll use the white one as well. And just a little bit of red sticking out here and there here or there somewhere. On, on the white, I rather like it there.
I do want to use these shiny guys. I think I just have the two. Um, and I also want a little bit more white down here or something. Maybe the red. When I say red, by the way, I shouldn't do that. This is cherry cobbler and this is shaded spruce. Don't call it red. I know, it's like, what is she talking about? All right, so there's those. I even did one of these. I'm not sure if I would, was going to use it or not, but I just thought it was kind of cool. I might use it as a little bit of a sprig. So, <laughs> might use it and then we break it to see what happens. So it's not necessarily going to look like this. Um, I may pull that apart too. Oh, too late, I pulled it apart. It's kind of like decision made. So this is the, from the sprig punch. And I love that there's always options. You can always use like little bits of, you know, here and there. Okay, so kind of, kind of gonna look like that. I can always add to it. So what you want to get is your glue dots. And I like to use this. Now I can see, okay, I've got the sentiment there. So I'll just turn it right upside down. I know that I'm gonna need them here, glue dots here and here but I might probably place a few more than I need. That way I don't have to go back and do more. And there's lots on here. Oh, I think that one, oh no, there it is. I'm like, that stuck to my finger. You do find these things in the oddest places. I had been die cutting and I lost one of the, like from the playful alphabet and I lost it. And I bet it was a month later that I turned my um, moccasin upside down and there was the T stuck to the bottom of it. So we do find things in odd places. I think I did the wrong corners after saying that. I think I did. And I'm pretty sure you do too. Dimensional backs, oh my gosh. Yeah, you find those everywhere down here. That's what we wanted to do. All right, like I said, I can always add more. So. Let's kind of build this. They're kind of fiddly little pieces, but once you've once you've decided on how you want it to appear, it goes fast. So I think I put that too far. I did put them too far down. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. I heard um I read on Facebook a little town north of here. Um, St. Clements was having snow this after had snow around five o'clock this afternoon. And um, has anyone in town anyway? Now, if you're in a different province, you've probably seen snow, like out west, for example. You've probably seen snow already. I know my cousins have. Oh, and uh, Calgary. I like that. A little bit of shine because the card itself doesn't have, oh, clearly, it doesn't have a lot of shine to it. And I don't find that the top and the bottom have to look the same, like mix it up a bit. And I think that's what kind of gives it some life and some, some personality. And you can play with these, like it, like it's true. I have, I have a lot of supplies. I have a lot of, <clears throat> I have a lot of dyes and whatever, but when you buy like the, like I said, the forever flourishing, when you have those in your, in your stock, you're pretty well set for for um, that kind of leaf and such. So I think that's that's pretty well the way I, I purchase things. That one, that one. Oh yes, and this one. Under, over, no, just kind of sticking out randomly. The good thing about glue dots, let's put another one on. Boy, snow in Brockville, but okay. Not as much as, yeah, out, out um, west, my goodness. Yeah. I, th I had a, yeah, my one cousin was visiting um, Banff, and they had quite the little share. Oh, look, I forgot to put this one in. I will add that one, too. I do find that because the glue dot, I put quite a few, you will easily find the glue dot and just push that in, and you're good. Good to go, even if you forget things. Alrighty, that way, that way. I want to be able to see that, so good. This is what I like about glue dots. I can maneuver, and I like to be able to move things around. Alrighty, so let's go with that. So I do have lots, but they'll just go into my little box of treasures that I will use. Now we want our dimensionals. Oh, not the little guys, though. We're going big. <laughs> 
if we we need the bigger ones and I could have sworn I brought them downstairs because I was running out there we go it's really not going to take a lot now I'm having one of those days where I actually remember things and I do remember that I thought I might put a little ribbon on so before I get too far you know I'm not a fan of seeing lines it's it's not super huge like you're talking an inch but I kind of wondered if if I could put a little ribbon this direction. I don't think I like that. I would have gone on well, under the greenery, so I'm not sure I like that. I could always have a little piece or two out the bottom here, a little bit out the top. That's kind of, let's see what that looks like. Let's see, because we can always change our mind. So this is the metallic edge ribbon, and this is Whisper White with a nice silvery edge. And because this has silver, that looks, I think I like that. I may have to trim those ends. We'll find out. Alrighty. If this is too much, well, I will, I will take it apart. You know me. I will take it apart. Oh, and I did miss the dimensional. Oh, but I lost one of those. All right. Let's put this on here to hold that. And let's put another one here to hold that down. I'm okay with the loop, but I do need to put this back in. So this was down here, and I should be able to put that on the front. So press it in with your fingernail and pull it off, or you can use your uh, take your pick tool. Options, options, always options. This one I think was going to go down here. I don't want all of it showing because of the length of it, I don't know that I want that much. But a little bit. Oh, I still want it shorter. You know, this is the fiddly part where my cards are actually quite quick to make. It's when I start fiddling around, that's when it takes a couple seconds extra. But I think you'll find that if you do take those couple seconds extra, that you'll be so much happier with your cards. Alrighty, so let's see, what did, oh, I got all the backings off already. Wee. Okay, and you stay there, and we're going to go right about there. I, I haven't really picked a, like a solid location for that yet. I like that. I think I would probably get some of the greenery to come over just a little bit and kind of, yeah, cover it a little bit. I like that. Alrighty, and I'm also not forgetting these. So I hadn't quite decided, but now that I see them under the light, I think I have. I think... This is not the red that I'm looking for. These are the red rhinestones. And these are the um, basic jewel rhinestones. So I think I'm going to go with the basic today. We'll just add a little bit. Now, had I used sparkly paper up here, I probably wouldn't have put these on. But since I haven't, and I, I do like my sparkles, I'm going to. I think this is the medium size. Again, I don't know how old this package is because I've had them kind of like forever. Good. It's not an even, I had to check that it wasn't an even triangle. All right. So that's those. I think that I like this. Do you like the card? I, I'm going to say I hope you do. Um, and I'm going to show you the original as well. Okay. So here's the original. Um, same DSP. Now you'll find that this is a little thicker than this because when I ran it through the stamp and cut emboss machine, I didn't really, to me, it doesn't matter. A little more white space and I'm happy. I'm happy. So for this card, um, I use crumb cake and this is embossed with the tasteful textures. You know, my favorite embossing folder. And I use the, um, uh, brushed metallic cardstock. I use the hmm, Gilded Gems in two different sizes here and here. And now this one, this is Garden Green, also Cherry Cobbler. And if you see here, this is my favorite trim, just barely sticking up. But I also did the inside of the card. So ready? <clears throat> it's like a grand unveiling because I don't often do the insides. So I still had lots of... DSP from this six by six piece of paper. So I put this down here and I thought that looked pretty, kind of looks like a little hill. And then remembering that my, it's popped up here, 
I should be able to pop up here. So I did. So I put a little bit more of the gold trim, a couple more of the gilded gems, a little bit of greenery. And then this is also from the um, Mary Moose. And this is also from Tasteful Labels. I thought if you're going to show them, you might as well use more than one. Now what I like about this one, if you see it nice and close, that it has this little edge. So it's kind of elegant, which I like. So it cuts and makes an edge. Whee! <laughs> So there they are. I would normally not um, put embellishments like this on the inside of a card, but there is so much space and I thought it just looks so pretty that I would go with it. So there they are. Oh, I used some vellum here too. So I kind of used like a whole bunch of everything. So they're the same but different. Um, and I hope you like my video. You like the surprise. On the, yep, pop it up once in a while on the inside, absolutely. Absolutely. And then add a couple of, on a large card like this, like I said, it can handle it. So there we go. Um, let me just make sure I said everything. I gave you the, I did give you the, um, the size, which is good. You need that. Um, I hope you make these cards, this kind of card. Um, again, you can get the, this die, this set of dies with the uh, bundle or variety bundle starting on the November 3rd which is pretty cool. Um, if you are not yet getting my newsletter, you're gonna to wanna to get my newsletter. Um, find out about classes and specials and things that are happening. So you, by going to my blog, which is in the um, comments, you can see that um, a pop-up will pop, a pop-up will pop up, and that's where you wanna look. The other thing is, of course, my class, and I do hope you'll come to my Mary Moose class because it is gonna be fun. Um, and that's pretty well, well, share, subscribe, like all of the above comment, love it all. See you next Tuesday, my friends. Um, yeah, I will see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye.